Hello my lovelies. Well, I have just unbagged all of my goodies that I bought from Primark. Yes, I have. If you want to go and check out what I bought, it'll be on the video before this one, but it might not be on this channel. It might be on one of the other channels because I have over 20 channels here on YouTube. I do. Best way to find out where it is is go onto my Twitter at UK and go on the link there or you can type in adults uk in the search bar above type on today and or this week and they should all pop up fingers crossed yes don't forget to like and subscribe whilst you're there now i went to legoland just for the day i did we went with some friends the monkeys were at school yes we went to i took mr producer as an adult to legoland with no kids he wasn't sure what to do at first and so, you can still be excited at Legoland without kids. He went on a few rides that he'd never been on before. He went on the haunted house. I didn't like the haunted house. You liked it. I didn't like the haunted house. It scared me. It scared There was little kids on this ride, and I was the only one that was screaming. <laughs> so embarrassing. We went to a 45 degree angle, and the room was spinning round us. And yeah, it wasn't nice really really wasn't no. but you guys might like it you might want to queue up for it yes but i i didn't like it but i want to show you what i bought now i didn't buy a lot not like my last legoland shopping spree that i did no now there is something missing out of the bag there's a key ring that i bought grandma monkey and she's already nabbed it <laughs> she took it it was a sweet pea key ring because with two peas in a pod Yes. Now, I went, because I didn't go with the kids, I bought them all a present back. I did. So, Little Miss got, she's called Bambi. Hello! Now, there's a koala, a panda, and another version. So, when I go back, I'll be getting her another one. Because she says, I'd rather have one of them than Lego, Mum. Okay. She was fourteen ninety nine. She was. But she's so soft. She really is. So soft. Here you go. You sit, you sit there behind my pants. <laughs> Um, I got Eldest Monkey because he loves Minions, the Minions Brickheads, which I will be building soon. I got myself some flowers because who doesn't like flowers, you know? Lego flowers seem to be the only one that come to my house. <laughs> Lego flowers are, they are. Um, I got ooh, so another ice cube tray, but I think it's a Duplo ice cube tray because it doesn't look like the others that I got. But yeah, Lego ice cubes. Oh, it's it's one big Lego thing, but then underneath it's all broken into little pieces. That's what it is. But yeah, Lego ice cube tray, because you can never have some. Yeah, it's bigger. You can never have. In fact, I might fill that up tonight and put it in ready for the hot weather. I got Middle Monkey, a Star Wars set, because he's Star Wars nuts. It's quite a cool set actually. That was $17.99. This one was. Same as the brickhead. That was $17.99 as well. Now the only problem with Legoland I found is you don't get your VIP points. They don't ask for your VIP card, which is a bit that. I got a Lego minifigure, because why not? And I got myself one that I could have got as a free gift if I'd spent so much money last year. I got a Christmas tree. I got a Christmas tree. You know, it's June, but I'm already thinking of Christmas. When am I building this? Christmas time. I've got two to build for Christmas. I've got this and my gingerbread house to build at Christmas in Lego. Because I only like to build Christmas Lego when it's Christmas. I'm weird like that. But it is 8.6 inches tall. It's as tall as the box. Well, that, that line there. That's how tall it is. So that will be going on my mantelpiece in my living room. <laughs> Do I need to put the big Christmas tree up if I've got this Christmas tree up? <laughs> what, this? Will I break this down? This might stay on my one of my shelves, like the other, what I tend to do. Because I have a shelf of Lego above my TV, you guys have all seen when I've cleaned the living room, is I have Christmas Lego and normal everyday Lego, like summer Lego and things. And I switch it round. When I do my big Christmas living room clean, ready for the Christmas tree to go up, I put the Christmas Lego to the front and move the other Lego to the back, like the flowers and things. And then when it's spring clean, I put the Christmas Lego to the back and bring 
the um, other leg up to the front. I know, weird. But that's me. So if that fits, that'll go on that shelf. If that fits. If not, it'll live at Buckingham Palace. <laughs> not Buckingham Palace, Big Ben. <laughs> Buckingham Palace. <laughs> Big Ben on the window. Big Ben will have a Christmas tree all year round. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's all I bought. That is all I bought. I only spent £98. I only spent £98. I spent more than that last year. I'm not saying how much I spent last year. But I, I did not spend enough money. I got a lot for my money. It's fine. But yeah, once in a while I go and splurge at Legoland. I can't help it. But to be fair, this is all I saw that I really, really liked. Plus Mr. Producer was with me, so I couldn't buy too much. <laughs> but it's because I'd got everything else already. I wasn't really interested in a lot of the exclusives. I'm going to sneeze. Good to my civil play. Yes, I wasn't really bothered about the exclusives. It's like they started to do all the rides and everything in Lego that were at Legoland. Like they had the water slide, which was new, and the bumper cars, not the bumper cars, the driving round cars. So I wasn't really... The slide one looked cool, but then I had Mr. Producer in the, my ear. He wasn't really going, where are you going to put it? So it will be something that they get built and not put anywhere. So there's no point to it. Because that's got a place, that's got a place that I'll get played with. Simple as that. But yes, thank you for joining me on my Lego Lens Splurge. I love you all. I really, really do. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Then come back and re-like and re-subscribe because youtube are unsubscribing my subscribers they are hiding comments holding comments back i'm literally doing two years worth of comments i've just come through because they changed the comments section to comments and mentions it opened the floodgates and i got two two maybe three years worth of comments so if you see me randomly like a comment that you left me a year ago or two years ago it's because i've just seen it also, if I don't like a recent comment that you just left, it's because it's being hidden and I'll see it in about a year's time when they let it through again. Fingers crossed. Yes, they're changing the thumbnails hourly. They Every time I upload a video, they change the thumbnail to make it look terrible, take it out of the system. They're changing the links, changing the titles. Changing the titles is a weird one. But yes, they're changing the titles. They're just doing everything they can to keep me down. And look, I've been to Legoland. What's wrong with that? What is wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. I'm shopping within my means. Cheap. <laughs> yes. So thank you for joining me. Don't forget I am on my social media. Twitter and Instagram is at Adele6UK. UK. Coco Scope at Adele6UK. UK. And then my TikTok. Adele's TV. There's three of them on there. And then my three only fans. The freebie, the $10 and the naughty one. So come and check them all out. And I love you all. They help me go to Legoland. <laughs>